how to port uh, Windows applications and games to your Mac. So we're going to be using Wineskin. Over here I have the link to Wineskin, the official web Wineskin website, the links will be in the description. Uh, so you can download it from here by pressing this button and you can go download, it will be Wineskin Winery. So uh, the, the, not all applications and games will be available to use on Wineskin because of the combat compatibility issues. So you can go check um, your games which are compatible in Wine over here. The links will also be in the description. Okay, so I'll just close that. Okay, you can open up Wineskin Winery. And if you're new, I mean, uh, if you open it for the first time, you press plus and install the new, uh, you should install the newest engines possible because um, Wine has fixed the bugs in the previous ones in the newest updates. So it would be best if you uh, install the newest engines. So I'm just going to create a new blank wrapper. Um, using image burn the application the freeware so just press ok I'm just gonna name it that and I'll just wait for it to open so um, it's gonna show you where it put the wrapper so I'm just gonna wait for it okay here they're gonna ask you for a gecko package and don't don't panic just press cancel you don't need that so uh, it's gonna come out with the just wait for it. Okay, so it's gonna view wrapper and finder. So I'm just gonna drag my wrapper, as you can see here, it's around 100 MB. So I'm just gonna drag it out and put it in my desktop for easy preferences. So I don't need to worry about wine skin winery now. I can quit. It's done. So I'm gonna put it beside my exe file. Okay, so now it's an empty wrapper and we can double click install Windows software uh, if it's not an empty wrapper and you have a Windows program installed you cannot double click to come to this screen again okay so I'm just gonna choose my desktop and choose the exe file so after this it's gonna come out the usual Windows installer window and you can select uh, where you want to install your stuff so you see here don't panic next I accept next so in this video, I'm just going to untick everything here, next. And I recommend you installing in the program files because it'll be easier next time to see where your files are. But if you want, you can also down, uh, install it somewhere else, but make sure your exe uh, file, no, I'm not going to uh, update here. Uh, so as I was saying, wait, it's opening, I'm going to close that. Okay, and click. Remember not to run because you have not chosen the exe file you want to run, which I said previously. So finish and wait. Okay, this is the executable file you want to choose, which I was saying earlier. So uh, you basically want to change um, the file which your application is named after and .exe. Usually that is the case. But if that's not the case, just change it, okay? Okay. Uh, you can change that uh, file exe here so do not worry browse you can go search for the file okay quit this so if you want to be more fancy uh, I'm just gonna open this Google image burn icon okay so I'm just gonna take a random image and this is the one, so I'm just going to drag it to my desktop over here and cancel that out. So if you want to be a, more, a little more fancy, you can have image to icons. So you can download this, uh, links will also be in the description. And uh, so what you want to do is take the PNG file, you also can take JPEG or any other image file and just drag it into image to icons. Press the icons folder. And in this case, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So as you can see, save it to my desktop. It's over here. Okay, so you can just close that off now. So here's your wrapper. You cannot double click it yet if you want to add your icon. So you right click, show package content, double click wine skin. As you can see here, this window comes out, advance, and browse your icon for your icon. 
So it only work with all your icon files. I'll click the icon, and as you can see, it has changed. So I click done. Quit. If you want to change anything uh, related to the contents of the wrapper, you just uh, show package content and double click that file. So I'm ready to go, and just double click it. Uh, the icon thing is optional, but um, it's uh, better as uh, you can arrange your folders nicely. Okay, uh, so the application comes up and you can do whatever you want. Right image file to this and do whatever you want. Okay, so this is it. This is how you port um, Windows applications and Mac uh, games to your Mac. And games is compatible. You just have to look at the list of uh, files uh, which will be in the website. So this is my tutorial, uh, thanks for watching.